coverage you can count on. Yeah. It's lights, camera, action over here, boy. This game seven for me. This is really personal this week. Sit back and watch the show. As long as we play as a team, we're, we're going to go all the way. On the road. We just can't stop. Two really good teams going at it. Best team of one. Oh my, you sank boat. Yeah, I'm running these dudes. Every play counts. Every snap, every tackle, every run is important. Uh, we have to be great. Every second, every minute has to be uh, at our best. Sit back and watch the show. Well, for the first time in what feels like forever, no rain. No rain on our Highlight Zone Parade tonight. We're down to the crown as sectional championships decided under relatively clear skies. And for Dwenger and Wayne, the sky's the limit. But one team would see their season end this evening. Andy McDonald has more on your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Andy. Thanks, Len. No rain, but there certainly was mud. And I don't know about you, but the game, uh, Highlight Zone Game of the Week, feeling 22. In the season opener, Bishop Dwenger, they topped Wayne in the slop 22 zip. But in this sectional final, the Generals trying to end a 22-year drought. Wayne, they hadn't clinched a sectional title since 1996. Dwenger at Wayne. It's your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. The Saints obviously won last year in the sectional title game as they marched on to a 41 20 victory. First half was sloppy, but the Generals get on the board for Darius Alexander, the big boy that's going to Ball State, gets in the end zone 7 0 in favor of the Generals. The Saints, in fact, didn't get a first down in the entire first half. Craig Young Jr. sacks Brendan Lytle and says, Let's go to halftime. The opening possession of the second half of the Saints, TJ Tipman behind big old tackle tight end. Best friend Joe Tipman. This evening the score at seven up. The Generals, they come right back the other way in the fourth quarter. Brandon Young to Keyshawn Fields finds him in the open field. They get in the end zone and this would be crucial. They missed the extra point. They're up to 13-7 now with about 11 remaining. Saints ball, they get a fourth down, several fourth downs and they keep the chains moving thanks to the ground game. They waste away eight minutes with two minutes to play. Bishop Dwenger on the move, the play call, Lytle over the defense to Vinny Tipman for the score. That would even in at 13, they would need to drill the extra point. And Garrett, Michael Garrett, drills the game winner for 14-13. Wayne, they would have one final chance with two minutes to play, but Young's pass would be intercepted by Griffin Eifert in the end zone. Dwenger takes the sectional title. Once again, they win in dramatic fashion, 14-13. I was just thinking, don't mess up, don't mess up. You, I, we practiced it so many times, and I was ready to do it, and it was just awesome to execute. Something to have in our back pocket, and we finally got to use it. What did you think when they called his number in the huddle down there late? I thought it was a money call. I was like, they're going to bite all day on the 37 blast. I saw Vinny wide open. We did our job. Everyone did our jobs, and it was great. Go back to halftime. You know, I, I had a lot of things I wanted to say, and... Uh, Joe Tipman came up to me and said, Coach, captains want, want to have some time with the team. I said, it's your team. I walked out of the locker room. I grabbed the coaches. Said, We're out of here. They did everything they, they could, uh, showed the moxie and the, the grit and the determination that they needed. And they're moving on to regionals. But who will the Saints face next? Glenn, back to you. Uh